Hi guys, it's Anime Mafia back here today. We're doing another review with the DC Mighty First Devastator or Earth One Batman and Superman. It's a part of the box, as you can see. It come, they come in this cool box again. Earth One Superman and Earth One Batman. So sorry, sorry for swearing. Didn't mean to do that. My bad. But the trouble. Why I'm swearing, the set is very badly troubled, and I'll tell you why in a minute. It's just look at the box first. It comes in this cool box, however, it's got, as you can see, like a dirty background. But when you take the cards out, you actually tear it, which is a flaw, because that could be good to stand behind some some figures, like they're standing behind a dirty wall or something. But you get these two stands, which is normal for DC. If you collect DC Multiverse, you know you can get these, which it comes with Batman of one there and Superman, aka Devastator. And it comes with a big picture of the two figures there, and all the other figures you can get in the lineup. I want that one. Um, I've got all of them except that one, which I need to get. Um, yep, on the bottom. It's all upside down, but it says made in China, recyclable. Do, do, do. Yeah, that's the box it comes in. Let's get on with the accessories. Um, but before we do, let me just say there's two things that no one else is going to say, which I'm going to say about this set, which I don't know anyone else say. I'll say that in a minute. Let's get on with that. It comes with this cool diorama, which is absolutely cool, really. Look at this. Now, you have to use it for um, these guys. You can use this for, like, Dragon Ball Z or anything. To just stand in the background. Put, like, the... Oh, let me just tip the camera down so you can see it. Look. Stand, like, the Goku on there and the freezer up here. Come here, mail up. Or something like that. You know, you wouldn't just stand in the background and have... So, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Now, keep in mind, this set is only £32 in England. In America, it's, like, 35 bucks and that. So, for the price of the Devastator on its own, you can get a Superman, if you haven't got one, and you get this cool diorama for the for this, say, a couple of pounds, say, two pounds more. So, why buy one if you haven't got one, and you haven't got a Superman? Why not just buy this set and you get both? Because i got lots of Superman in that, but still, it's very, very good. And, yeah, as you can see, this diorama, it's got like a big sort of white pointy thing there, it's got a thing to put a sta uh, stand on so you can have Superman flying, it's got a peg right there for the, dev the, 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 sorry, for the devastator to stand on, it, yeah, it's very hollow as you can feel, but yeah, that does actually look quite cool actually, you know, it's not bad, but just for a free item, that is not bad at all, and it comes with sadly no other things for these other figures, but it does come with these two cards, However, this is the, one of the problems with this set. It comes with the figures on the cards and not what we used to with the other DCs. They come with a part of the comic. But, yeah, if you want to pause it and read, and for the people that say, how do you know it's a Devastator? It's just right there, mate. Devastator, look, two big letters. Devastator. But, yeah, if you want to pause it and read, there you go. But, yeah, I'm not a big fan of these two. Usually, I buy the figures, and these will go up on my wall right in front of the figures. So, you know what they are. But, nah, I won't be putting these guys up, because I have these. But, yeah, they ain't very, very good. The other thing, what I'm about to say is, which no one else has said, there's two versions of this set. One version comes with... Um, a very lighter version of Superman, and his jaw is really wide. That's one version you can get. Um, my Superman that comes with this set is re really good, actually. The head sculpt's really good. It doesn't have the wide jaw effect, which is really good, actually, um, which I seen can be a thing. But the other problem with this set, there's another devastator you can get my mate has got the same set as me we wore ours at the same time however it's devastator it's got all white round there all white down here and a couple of white here which looks really good actually so there are two different sets of this set out there so i don't know if it's like just potluck really or whatever area you live in but no other reviewer said that yet and i'm i've been looking on youtube and they haven't said that and i'm a bit like well 
but I think you've done your research to tell people this. So I'm going to tell you guys, when you buy this set, remember this one, the dark version, is the one that came out first, and the lighter version is the pre-release. So this is the first release of this version. I don't mind because I don't have this set. This is the reason I bought this set. I have this Superman, but I don't have him. So let's get into Superman first before we get into him. We've got that really different head sculpt than the original one. I can't find the original one, but I do like that head sculpt. Look at angry like, I'm going to zap you. I like the eyebrows. Really good. However, as I said, the other version comes with a, a really wide mouth that comes out here somewhere. It's like, it's weird. I'm happy I got this version, but the other version is, is just weird, it's just weird. I can't explain it because I don't have the other version, but my mate has it and it is, oh, it's weird. But it's this all Superman, really, it comes with a lovely, it's more darker here than it is in real life, but it comes with like a lovely darker blue, like uh, the feet. I love the way the cape bends in as well. So, I would say it's a plastic cape, but it can move, so you can articulate it a bit. Which is quite cool, but the cape bends in, which is quite cool because if he's flying, you can have him it like bent around his feet or something like that. He's got an open palm man like that, like power. And then, yep, the articulation he can look left, he can look down, he can look up. Nope, he can't go out. Oh, hang on, no, he can't quite look up, look down though. He's got an app concert, he make a he make a he make a winner. Oh, look at him, look at him, Macarena. You do the Macarena fine. He's got, I think it's a ball joint in the arms. Yeah, it's got a ball joint in the arms. It goes up, it can go down, it can rotate like, woohoo, baby. And then you got a big bicep wriggle. Oh, hello, ladies. Pretty inflexive muscles. And the only bad bit is, it's got a bit of blue paint that comes down on his ha on his hand. That's a bit bad for me because the original one, which I can't find, doesn't have that. It comes right up to the thing. So that's another bit I find a bit of paint even on this arm. It's a bit focus. It's a bit down. And his skin version is a bit darker than the original. But yeah, as I said, if you haven't got a Superman, definitely pick this Superman up. He's all. Obviously, I've got the original one, as I keep saying, so I don't really need this Superman. But I find him. I should have found him out to compare him, but yeah, he's a very nice Superman, definitely good. But this is the reason I came into this one. Look at this, I'm going to have to iron my camera up a bit, so it goes for this. One second, this guy is a big boy. Um, this is head sculpt, look at his head sculpt first, and the paint don't focus. Not focus. Hey, you got a cool Batman symbol there, as you can see, it's different Batman symbol but it's quite cool he's got his lovely nice red eyes um my mouth or mine's a bit crooked I don't know if the other one's supposed to be but my mouth is you open it up you can see there's a tongue in there which is highly movable you have to get your head up there but yeah you got all these lovely spikes on him you come down here to like a whip bat shirt which is really cool look at that he's got like the doomsday like claws here He's got this one. This is a more darker version, as I said. There is a lighter version out there. You've got more, like, really cool, like, spikes up here. You've got, like, ripped off swords, like, Hulk style, sort of ripped off, real darky swords when he comes down. He's got this lovely designed toes, which is really, really good. I do like this. He's got a lovely, like, tall swords there as well. The paint things on here, it goes all up there. Kind of like killer clock type spine. So if you want, you can like do a custom killer clock out of this body if you want to. But there you go. Anyway, let's look at the uh, movability. He got his head can go left, his head can go right, his head can go up, his head can go down, his mouth can open. Uh, hungry. Uh, um. His arm can go up there, sadly, he can't go, he can go that far out. It's on kind of a ball joint, but mine's very stiff, I don't want to move it. Put it in a hot water, you can get more. I don't want to break it, because this is the only one i got. You can bend his arm out, you can put it forward, so he does have a cool elbow, sort of, look, stint. This elbow comes with, like, a cool bat sort of thing on it. 
which is really cool. Um, it's got a cool movement in the waist as well, as you can see. So like this guy's a heavy thing. You come down here, it's got a big, I've got a foot ankle movement like that, which is cool. Sadly, it don't go side to side, it goes up and down though. It's got a big toe articulation like that, which is really cool. It's got move the knees, which again, the knees on this guy is really stuffed, but there you go. You can bend it more. I'm not going to do it, obviously, but put it in hot water and my mates will can go up to about there. It's about that far. But yeah, I don't want to break mine because this is literally one sec, the only version I have. Oh, that's a bit stiff. That's what she said. Um, yeah, it comes with this core open hand as well. Now, one thing which I find cool with this open hand is you can do this. You can get the. Ooh, I'll put this camera down a bit. Sorry. Um, you can get the Superman. You can have him open that, you can bend his hand like that, look, like he's about to hit Superman. And you can put the Superman's hand inside, like that, so he's like he's holding Superman, get the Superman's arm, put it in his hand, so like, like he's holding Superman, having Superman could be like, no, he's about to like clock Superman, look like, Ugh, I'm Batman, he's about to like clock Superman, look at that. That looks really cool. Imagine that, like with that, that sort of thing. I don't like that. Look, that's how it would look. I think that hand's really cool. Because you can put like anyone in there and have them like doing a cool sort of pose sort of thing, like sort of pose sort of thing, you know. But yeah, it's really, really cool. Again, this is, remember this, as I said, try and know, get the light on. If you guys can and you haven't got. A devastator again pick this one up but it depends on the preference really if you have this guy already on its own you'll see just what i mean there is a lighter version of it out there so again it's whatever you want really i like the more darker version because he is like the evil version but for the price of just this guy alone you can pick up a superman and you get a cool diorama for just an extra two bucks so my opinion is if you just want this guy then pick up this this guy but if you want this guy and you haven't got a superman figure definitely pick this pack up because for the as i keep saying for the price of this you can get that superman as well there's going to be a lot more pictures of the original one of superman on my instagram which I would do a comparing of them on there. And I'm going to do some photoshops and something on him standing on this sort of diorama thing on my Instagram. Um, if you like this, definitely subscribe. I've got massive unboxing coming of WWE figures, of Lola Spawn figures, of the NECA Turtle figures. I've got all that all coming up. I've just spent... I've been moving house out, but I want to do a lot. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, I've got a load more figures coming now on this channel this month. It'll be bombarded for the figure reviews. I hope this helped you. If you look on my Instagram, you want me to do any more sort of demonstration, I'll put a video up on there sort of thing. But yeah, definitely, this pack is definitely worth it. Definitely, just for this guy alone. If you haven't got this guy, definitely, just for this guy alone, this pack is worth it. But... The Superman, there's nothing wrong with it. He's really good Superman. He's really, really good Superman. A newer Ed Scott as well. So if you've got the other Superman, same one, but you want the Superman because you've got a different Ed Scott, pick this guy up as well. You know, you've got two Superman. But as I said, be careful of the version you get. So there are two versions out there. But hope this helped you. If you like this video, then yeah, put a like, subscribe, go on my YouTube channel, which is Anime Mafia 89 and i should see you in the next review i hope this helped you guys i'm gonna go and have a little play now i'm shoot man uh, bye 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 say bye guys bye fish pump stay safe guys anime mafia out